Pouring down rain right now in Alabaster. You can see that from the full moon barbecue. Just a wet mess there. Also in Chelsea on Highway 280, reduced visibility. It is pouring down rain here as well. That's the case in much of Shelby County, and it's all advancing northward, about to get up to 459, about to get into Jefferson County too. Here's the area of rain. It has weakened a little bit over the past hour, but still packing quite a punch. A lot of rain with it, some gusty winds when it first comes in, and some cloud to ground lightning as well. And it's all advancing steadily toward the north. That trend will continue. This thing began as the sea breeze front way down in the Gulf of Mexico and is held together all the way up to here. As you can see, that rain just now getting into 459, about the crossover in the summit. Uh, Cahaba Heights surrounding areas getting uh, that rain and it will come down hard for a while. It's going to be a wet evening for many of us for sure. As you can see, I-65 and Highway 31 soaking wet. So impact weather this evening, 7 and 9 o'clock. Not so much later on. I think the rain will diminish quite a bit as the air stabilizes. Temperatures getting down to the low 70s and it will be very muggy tonight. Not especially warm. The rain will cool things off, but it will be very humid. Speaking of humidity, we have plenty of tropical moisture with this. It's now a hurricane, just became a hurricane, so a bit of breaking weather news here. Peak winds of 75 miles per hour. There's the storm just west southwest of Tampa, Florida at this point. Continues to march northward. Actually has sped up a lot, 14 miles per hour now, um, as it heads toward the Big Bend area of Florida, where it will be arriving a bit later on. Forecast track for the storm, something like this, as you can see, as it moves northward, then northeast then rapidly accelerates across Georgia and across the Carolinas too. This thing's going to wind up off the Virginia coast late this week and then very close to New England here. They could have some winds approaching tropical storm force later on as the storm continues in that general direction and the possibility of isolated tornadoes. So a slight risk of severe weather for much of the Florida Peninsula tonight. For us, here comes that rain area. By midnight, it's pretty much dissipated. Overnight could still be a few more showers during the day tomorrow. Keep your umbrellas handy. You will need them at times. There'll be some additional showers and a few thunderstorms as well. And it stays that way the rest of the week. Seven day forecast looking like this. Tomorrow, some more storms, showers perhaps in the morning, a few thunderstorms in the afternoon, 85. Showers and thunderstorms likely Thursday and Friday as well. Over the weekend, pattern changes a little bit. It'll make the activity more scattered. It will allow temperatures to get up a bit, up to 91 by Monday and Tuesday. But through it all, still some scattered showers and thunderstorms. You